Hey there, Pat and Sue's back with another episode of Pat and Sue's Explains Stuff. Pat and Sue's Explain Stuff. Pat and Sue's Explain Stuff. Pat and Sue's, they are the best in correctly answering questions. Pat and Sue's Explain Come on, Stubb. let's listen to them. Today we're talking again about leading a small group and we're talking about managing expectations. Yeah, and that's important because, you know, when you're leading a small group, there's a lot of moving parts and you're trying to achieve a lot of different things. You're trying to get have a safe space where people can share and open up. You're also trying to, you know, read the Bible and have a deeper knowledge of, of the word. You're also trying to do ministry together. There's a lot of different things, so sometimes it's hard to, uh, to narrow it down into specific goals. So when you're using these resources, there's two things really to keep in mind. Um, we want to build holistic understanding as we walk through these studies. So it's the study speaks to the emotional self and the intellectual self in the place of spirituality. Yeah, a really important uh, key to our studies is that there's a, a good balance of head knowledge and of heart knowledge because one without the other can often be dangerous. Yeah, so if you have knowledge without experience, that can just puff you up. And if you have experience without knowledge, it might not be grounded in truth. Absolutely. And the second thing that we really want to drive home is uh, the application of the content that we have, that it's relevant, um, that it's it's something that you apply to your heart and apply to your sphere of influence and the people around you and just the context that you find yourself in. Yeah, and we're passionate too that it's not just actions, but that it is a heart change. And so the participant can experience change and then their actions will overflow out of that. Yeah. So we've learned a lot today about uh, managing the expectations of our small groups when using these resources, mm -hmm. mainly two things. That's right. We learned that a uh, desired outcome is that your group would have a holistic understanding and that they'd be able to apply the content to their lives. So that's some pretty good stuff, I would say. I would too. But as always, there's more stuff to learn. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for more episodes of Pat and Sue's Explain Stuff. I have no more banter to give. <laughs> Me neither. We're done. I got nothing. We've done this a lot. We have. Yeah, yeah we're amazing. amazing. Yeah, no, we're okay. Slash. I'm bitter. <laughs> wow. That might be true.